Hey everybody, and welcome on back to Source Block. We are starting this brand new build over here in the last episode. Thank you all so much for the amazing feedback for this. I am so excited. We're doing like a Tibetan styled monastery build here in the snow. We were able to bring together one of our first houses, build up one of the first towers for the build, and we're gonna have a giant monastery up in the sky here on top of the cliff behind our little sheep pen, which we brought all these guys all the way over here from spawn and have been slowly breeding them up. I've been gathering up quite a few resources in the meantime as well, just to keep things moving forwards. What we need to do to start out today's episode, however, is we gotta fix our pickaxe situation here. This thing, one, has efficiency five and unbreaking three, which is absolutely amazing, but we're very much lacking silk touch, which our shovel has over here. Thankfully, there is a village right off in the distance over this way, right? It'll start loading in here in just a moment. What I want to do here is bring over a lectern, trap one of these villagers in a house, and see if we can't, you know, maybe convince him to find a silk touch book in his inventory or so. So let me get some stuff together for how we're gonna do this and I'll meet you there. I decided that instead of staying in the village over there where we had the villagers, I brought him all the way over here and trapped him in a box where he's very safe. We could open this and trade with him right there. And unfortunately, we didn't get any good trades on him. So what we can do is close that down, break this until he loses his job, which should be in just a second here. Maybe in just a second. Did confirm that removing that and putting it back does make them lose their trade and get a new one because we now have mending. You know, I was going to go buy a bunch of these from Sausage because he has a pretty cheap and I think I have more diamonds than I have emeralds. That's pretty expensive. We got to get some sugarcane production going, but we have mending. Now it's time to get another villager. You can stay in there. Unfortunately, I know absolutely nothing about villager trading. Left the chunk in this one, reset. But I did come back and mess with it a few more times. We got Depth Strider 3 on it, which is pretty good. I also brought over two more villagers that I'm working through. This guy right now doesn't have anything, so I'm kind of just blocking myself in here, breaking this stuff, resetting him and doing that and power two. I think I got a few more to run through here. Now we have not gotten lucky with Silk Touch, but we have some pretty awesome ones. So I decided to lock them all in here inside of a house so we can keep them a bit safer. Inside of this one, we have our sleeping villager that we cannot talk to. All right, villager number one, take two. We have mending for 31 emeralds, not diamonds. And then we have looting three for 11 emeralds. That's pretty dang good. And then we've got over here, we have efficiency five for 55 emeralds, which really sucks. But this I never knew was a thing. One emerald for one lantern. I could definitely get behind that. Lock them back in here. Keep them safe and sound inside their little boxes. And then over here, we have Depth Strider three on this guy. I decided just to keep this one unlocked as is. But that's what we got so far. I think we got some room to expand this. And then this isn't a final home for them. This is more just a temporary home. Now what I want to move into for the rest of today's episode is we are going to be transforming this area right down here. I want to kind of block off this river area and turn it into clay pits. We are using a lot of brick around this build and we're going to continue using a lot of brick around this build. So I want to get into explaining where brick is coming from, why we're able to get so much of it. So I want to build a giant clay pit area in here. I think it'd be best to do a good old fashioned time lapse form to get a bunch of this stuff knocked out here together. So let's get on to it. Building up our clay pits, I wanted to completely transform this corner of the river. I thought it'd be super fun to just absolutely tear this area down and create a mining expedition down here because we need to explain where we're getting our resources from inside of this world. I know it's Minecraft and I know Clay comes from a lot of the rivers here. It's not really just something that's dug up out of the ground. So I wanted to bring all those things together. I'm really moving into this way of I feel like it's a new way for me of thinking about Minecraft because I want to be explaining where everything comes from, why it all happens, what's going on with those things, which is a big part of how we're doing this project. So coming in here, I want to start out by drying out the riverbed. So just bringing down a bunch of sand into here which then we can regather up and move over forwards. Unfortunately, the water kept freezing itself over, which was kind of a pain to clear everything out of here because I just wanted to get rid of the water and you can't place sand instead of an ice block and then you break without silk touch, you get it all back. But that's enough of complaining for now. We came through here, gathered up all this stuff and just kind of cleared this area out 
And as you'll see here shortly, we're going to start creating a basin after we had some unfriendly visitors of the pillagers. They really seem to like this area. But in order to hold ourselves back up here, I want to build up a retaining wall of sorts. So we brought in some spruce logs here where we're able to build some platforms where you can see down into what is going to be these clay pits where we're going to be using a lot of terracotta and a lot of clay i know we're using all of our resources that we would use to build houses to explain where we're getting the resources from i know the math really doesn't add up too well but it's what we got to work with right now there is a small pathway on the left side here that y'all can see of this is how we're going to get down into the area it's kind of hard to walk up so i was thinking we could build up a crane of sorts to get the resources back out of the area because it'd be hard to get a cart around that corner very easily so i figured that would be kind of our best bet of what we could do in there they're bringing up a lot of the terracotta which i want to show is like the dried hardened clay of sorts because you know it used to be called hardened clay i figured it'd be a great thing to use in here and then down in the riverbed area which is now drained out we're going to have a lot of the clay down there that we could be gathering up from all that stuff I think it was a cool contrast between all of them being in the snow area i did want to come back in here and add in a bunch of snow scattered around as well which i do want to add more in but our, we are going to be building a snow farm later in today's episode that'll be able to help with all that stuff and we needed a retaining wall we couldn't just leave sand up everywhere for where the water was being held up so i decided to build up again a spruce retaining wall back there i think a lot of the wood we're going to be using in this biome is going to be spruce because that's the most accessible and it kind of makes sense to have it inside of here but now it's starting to pile up just some clay and hardened terracotta or hardened clay terracotta whatever we want to call it around this area start kind of just plotting out a few pathways so having it look like we're digging down into that area gathering up a bunch of the clay from down below and then kind of moving all the way around just adding in these veins almost of clay which is just all over the place and then bordering it with some hardened terracotta to really set it into that environment i was pretty happy with how this one came out in the end i think it was pretty fun i'm really excited though to be moving into building up some hot springs here i think probably in the next episode to explain how we're going to have crop gathering and crop farming around these areas i think that'll be super fun to be doing so any ideas you all have for that type of stuff i want to move forward with the hot springs route instead of the cave but let me know welcome to our newly finished clay pits everybody i hope you all enjoyed that time lapse that used way more terracotta and clay than i initially thought it would be so we are basically flat out of all the stuff but now we can at least explain where clay is coming from for the rest of our build now that we used all of our clay i know it's just don't think about it it works out great what i wanted to do now though is i would love to build up a small crane with you all i think this spot right here where we kind of left this plus shape is going to be a perfect spot for a crane what i was initially thinking is we could start with some dark oak stairs and bring those up kind of surrounding this base area then bringing this guy up to being let's go one two three and i think three will be good there then i was thinking we bring in some dark oak planks as well and we can start bringing these forwards and then from here we can start bringing in a few slabs i like to slowly inch these ones up and then we can do i like doing two at a time i think two at a time works great and that right there will be a spot where we can place something along the bottom so let's bring this out just to stick it out even further on the front and then what we could do on the back side here which we might unfortunately be running into the wall which will interrupt my plan ever so slightly which is a bit annoying so what i was thinking was bringing it all the way back down here and having a sort of a counterweight on the back of it but i think we can figure out something else later on maybe or this thing just comes all the way back here and we can attach the counterweight a little bit closer to this base point but what i was thinking was for the counterweight if we bring in a few of our oak trap doors and we can bring those down right into here this might actually work in this spot so what i was thinking for the counterweight was just bringing in some granite like there we got some slabs on the top and then some full blocks on the bottom and that helps to kind of round this out a bit further so the granite like that block right there which is serving as our counterweight here again we are avoiding cobblestone everywhere we go is <laughs> we're trying to make this work as much as we can and then right there is gonna basically be the little sitting nest for all of it to sit inside now for a few last details that we can throw on this thing itself here on the crane is we can add in a small little ladder bit right there and maybe we bring a few more of those oak trap doors and bring them around the sides and add a little bit of that extra detail to the top potentially can we get up there we do have some scaffolding on us so we could come all the way up to the top of this one 
and throw that right up here and i think that'll look great and then coming back all the way to, to the bottom we can move our way to building our front basket area where we're actually going to be using to get the clay out of the top of this i did on purpose make our pathway to get up a little skinny so i wanted to bring in a lot of this and i was thinking we could bring some iron bars let's bring out three four and then from at the bottom of this one we can bring in an oak fence right here and this might be a little too low for us because I want to add a larger or a large area down below this. So we'll see on that one. My plan was for now, let's do three of these guys across here, bringing in the spruce planks. Then from there, we can bring down two more iron bars and that'll bring us down to this point right here. And from here, we're going to be bringing out our oak trap doors yet again and add a small platform. Then in the middle of these, I was thinking some spruce slabs would go pretty well to help add some variation to it so it's not just a flat thing all the way across. But that should be pretty good, but I don't really like the top of this. I did bring some... No, I did not bring any. I was going to bring some uh, little levers over here with us to throw some levers on top of that guy, but I don't think I actually brought any. Let's make some real fast, shall we? All right, levers acquired. We can come back in here and throw those in, and that should add a lot of extra depth into this thing. And I like that a lot. I think that's really cool. What we can do around the base up here, however, is bring in a few brick walls to the base of the lift itself, or the crane itself, and that should be pretty good. But I think that's good. I think overall, that's a pretty nice looking crane there. That does the job as much as we need it to. I have been so busy on source block there are no more clay blocks anywhere actually wait can we get that you can glitch through the world with snow look at that but there are no more clay blocks anywhere around any of these rivers because look at that i've been gathering clay like crazy to be able to get a bunch of stuff done i've also been gathering up a bunch of stone or smelting up a bunch of cobblestone from here using our old-fashioned furnace system over there and it's been pretty good, but I also need to bring this guy with us. What I want to do now, and we're going to move this more into what I'm doing here on stream in the next little bit. Uh, we're going to be, I want to start incorporating streams a bit more into the episode progress instead of just big old time lapsey things. So what I wanted to do in this area right here was create another building similar to that one where we are housing all of our villagers in here for librarians for now. I want to make a more of a permanent one. In this area oh it's snowing look at that it's never actually snowed here since i've been here that's cool but what i wanted to do in here was create a giant area where we could start building up a bunch of places for villagers to live i think it'd be really cool to get a solid spot in here for some villagers to live that we can give the stone cutter so they can do all that stuff oh catherine's sleeping we're not going to gain more snow and it looks a little bit like this we are actually going to be building up this house on stream i think it'd be a lot more fun to build that with y'all together there and i want to add a sort of like a chimney sticky outy bit kind of a little something like a miniature version of one of those out of the roof of this so it's not just these flatter roofs across and we'll work on that one here a bit later but yeah so if y'all want to see that live building that'll be over on stream but what i want to do now is I want to get a makeshift snow farm set up, just somewhere that we can gather up a bunch of snow layers. And I was thinking, inside of all of these mountains that we have, I wanna start incorporating a different farm into like this peak and something into that peak that we could have. And then I wanna build like towers like these guys on top of them. I think that'd look really cool. And then we get the big mountain back in here. So this one, I'm thinking we get the snow farm. I've been carving out a rough idea of what our cave's going to look like in here. And I figured we'd come in. We have a slight curve on this one. And then it comes in over here. And this is where I want to have our snow golems like sitting up on the area here. So you can come in with a shovel and just do your little thing right in there and you'll break all the snow. Then I figured we'd have some hopper minecarts under there collecting it all, which will then bring the hoppers down into this area, which will be a lot of hoppers. And I figure somewhere in here, probably right along this wall. We're going to have a bunch of chests that are just going to hold everything. I do want to turn this into like an ice cave though. So, you know, it fits the snow theme. So all of this granite in here is just a rough idea of what it's going to look like for now. Because, you know, I can't really get ice because, you know, the whole silk touch pickaxe thing we planned today did not work out very well. I don't know quite how I'm going to do this one over here yet. I might honestly just do some polished granite with these guys right in there and have the snow golem sitting on top of those. Because if you're right here, you should be able to get both of them. And then we could do that, have the snow golems on there, do some glass panes right in here. The effort I go through to make a cool build, we are breaking ice, packed ice with a shovel so that we can pick up 
Packed ice. But this is breaking a little fast. I don't think we can put this as the full backdrop for the snow farm. Our collection system is set up pretty good to go so far. It's just some hoppers down here with some minecart in a hopper on top of it. Or mine hopper in a minecart. There we go. That's the word for it. And then coming up here, how we can make snow golems, if you all weren't aware, is you can do snow, snow, and then a pumpkin. And that'll make a snow golem for you. And snow, snow, and then we place our pumpkin right on top. And we can fill those guys in there. And as you can see, they now are producing snow down here. They cannot leave this space. And we should be able to just kind of sit here like this. If you get the right angle, you're going to get a bunch of snow. And it is so nice. So that's all getting gathered up. And we should see that all in the hoppers down here. Perfect. That's exactly what we want. And some bonus blocks. Never in my Minecraft career did I think that diorite would be this useful. I know it looks a little off. But if you think about it in the context of being like a messed up, kind of gunky snow if you go up to a ski resort think of it like the slushy stuff you see in the driveways kind of piled up and smashed down mixed in with some dirt and we're coming back here into the cave which is still very much work in progress i don't have too much ice left on me we got exactly a stack of packed ice left so i might be able to finish out this little front entryway i think i'm gonna try and do that but this is what the farm looks like right now i love this i think this is so cool i <laughs> i really like this and then you can kind of come up here, do your business, get all your snow and stuff, and you can leave out here. We're going to have the storage room right down in here. I just need to get that configured and set up. Basically, what needs to happen is I need to go pick up a bunch more hoppers because we're going to do like you right there. And then it's going to be bam. And we're going to, can I get a little, I don't think I can get into that one. So those are all going to be diverted over this way and we'll bring them right across and set up like eight double chests or so right in there for a bunch of snow to hold and it should be good. Sometime later, our farm is now completed and I love this cave. It's so very cool. This whole ice cave in here, it's not too deep because I didn't want to be walking for hours to get back here to farm up some snow, but we can stand here like this and get all of the snow layers we could possibly need. And now the storage area is complete. Some do get caught over here, but if you run up to the front of the block, you would get all of them. And our storage area down here is completed where they're all gonna end up in these chests, as you can see it coming in right now. That is simply just a hopper chain that's gonna bring everything all the way around. And that used a heck of a lot of iron. I am very, very low on iron and things are not looking very good <laughs> as far as the amount of resources we have anymore. So I think it's time to do some mining and streamy stuff. Finally, Silk Touch. Thank, oh, it's just Silk Touch, but I will take that. We're gonna add that straight away to that guy right there. And we're good, are we gonna get two? No, it's just unbreaking, okay. I was hoping to meet up with Sausage and buy some mending books from him, but I can't seem to get a hold of the guy. So we're gonna just be buying a few ourselves here. We're gonna go one, two, and three. I'm thinking three is gonna be good for us right now. Replace those and we got three more mending books to our name. Copious amounts of tree gathering, streaming things, and enchanting things, and all that stuff. Later, we have the finished product for today. I'm very happy with this one. We were able to, during the stream, we did a bunch of mining. We got all of our iron restocked now, ready to go there, which is awesome. We have a bunch of the stuff again. We're over three stacks of iron blocks again, which is great. And unfortunately, used a lot of it in creating the good old snow farm, but we're restacked now. Then we came over here and built up this awesome house, which is also storing four more villagers. Each of these villagers is a stonemason, meaning we can trade emeralds for bricks, meaning we can build more houses like these, which is going to be so nice moving forwards. They can also trade quartz later. So if you're ever trying to do that type of stuff, you can definitely get those. Uh, I'm going to get this coal up right in here. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> But yeah, that is actually going to have to do it for today's episode. That is all I have time for. I do hope you all enjoyed this one. We added also another little tower on top of this one. But this episode is actually due to go out in about three hours. So I need to actually edit this, render it, upload it, finish the upload, and get it all out to you all. So hopefully it's on time today. But thank you all so much for watching. Please hit that like button if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new. Let me know in the comments below what y'all want to be seeing moving forwards. Any other ideas you have for projects? Because this one was absolutely awesome to work on. And I will catch you on the flip side.